What is going on guys? Welcome to another awesome chemistry video. And in this video, I want to talk to you guys about the Barnes bottle. Oops, not that one. The Barnes bottle. Now, you guys have probably seen this before, but you may not know exactly what it's used for. And it's easily identified because it has really thick glass walls in comparison to the other glassware we typically use in chemistry lab. And it also has a rubber bulb or a rubber stopper on top. And I'll talk to you guys about why it has this in a little bit. Now, some people actually call these dropping bottles because, well, for obvious reasons, drop, 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 drop. So basically, whenever you're searching for it or buying them online, make sure to type in Barnes bottles or dropping bottles because different manufacturers are going to list them under different things. I call them Barnes bottles because it's, I, I feel like it's the more proper term. It was actually named after a guy named Albert Barnes. Um, I don't know how they got the name from that. I guess he lived in a barn or something. But basically, what it is, is a container that you use to store chemicals, but only the chemicals that you want to use in very precise amounts, aka drops. Whenever you want to deliver like 200 milliliters at a time, it's better to use a beaker, but whenever you're working with very precise measurements and you need to deliver it in drops, then check it out. Pretty freaking handy. Drop, 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 drop. Now, as you can see, it's made up of a couple different components. It's usually a big, thick glass bottle and also a glass pipette, pipette, however you want to say it. And also, this rubber bulb is not only a dropper, so you can suck up the liquid and drop it in little by little, but it's also a plug for the container. So pretty freaking cool, dual purposes there. So that's basically the basics of a Barnes bottle, AKA a dropping bottle. Now you're gonna find that whenever you're shopping for Barnes bottles, you usually just can't buy one or two. They usually come in a set of either five or 10 or sometimes a dozen. This set right here came with all the bottles and the rack and I think it was $12 plus shipping. And you definitely wanna, you know, even though you may think that you may not use it a lot, these are actually really handy. So if you're starting a home chemistry lab or you're gonna start making meth or anything, these things are actually gonna be really handy, definitely worth the investment. And another thing is I kinda of mentioned before, make sure that when you first buy them to get a rack. This rack is gonna keep everything organized, and sometimes these bottles are used as indicators with the lowest strength going to the highest strength, so it's really easy, or should I say, it can get really confusing whenever they're all mixed up, but when you have a rack, it makes them nice and organized. So again, this set right here I got off Amazon. It was $12 plus shipping. And, uh, well, that's all I got to say about that. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.